Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, somewhere a little bit different this week. I'm actually back down in the southwest in Devon, and more specifically on Devon's wonderful north coastline in um, Exmoor National Park, which I've never been to before. And Europe's first dark sky reserve, Exmoor National Park. Cool fact, and you can definitely tell at night time. Um, Least visited national park here in England, maybe even in the UK, I'm not sure, but some of it definitely appeals and it's wonderfully quiet here this morning. And I've done a little bit of research, like I said, I've not been here before, I think I said that. And um, yeah, just a little bit of research online um, in my wild guide book as well. And I've found, I've come to the conclusion that this is a wonderful location to come with my camera and it's called the Valley of the Rocks. I don't know how much you can even see here, it's still pretty dark, but wonderful, wonderful location, gorgeous landscape and just over my right shoulder there is the coastline looking over towards South Wales and I came here for a little bit of a walk yesterday and it's stunning, absolutely gorgeous um, and yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to come back really in some uh, beautiful Either sunrise or sunset light would work this time of year, if you fancied coming here. But yeah, Valley of the Rocks and this, over my left shoulder there, is going to be my sort of focal point, my subject hopefully for this morning. And that is called Castle Rock. And yeah, um, fantastically strong subject, looks beautiful. And once I get sort of over towards the coast a little bit more, should be able to see a bit more of the coast as well as sort of Castle Rock itself. It's all about just trying to find the right position to set up my camera but like I said a bit did a bit of a walk here yesterday and sort of over towards the coast there is actually a coastal path um, which gives, gives you a really good sort of vantage point of Castle Rock so yeah pretty much just going to head over there now guys and uh, see if there's any decent vantage points. Let's go. Some stuff so you can see here I found this really cool little area I don't know what you'd call it it's a bit precarious on a cliff edge but yeah this is a real good vantage point for pretty much everything that I want to get in this photograph awesome castle rock there and then this beautiful North Devon coastline it's Exmoor coastline which is just I don't really know if you can tell but it's a stunning stunning morning um, it's really really still there's barely any wind and the sun is going to rise in this direction here you can probably see there's quite a nice sky behind us there um bit of a bank of cloud you know probably a little bit more than i'd have hoped for however it was kind of forecast and um obviously the sun rises in the east so it's actually more northeast this time of year but what i'm hoping is the sun's going to come up in this direction here and then light up our scene here so as, as always sounds simple, you know, when you just say it like that and when you've done your planning or whatever, but we'll wait and see. It's looking fairly promising at the minute, you know, I'm willing to stay here till the end of the golden hour to see if we get that light, but um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous scene even at the minute, but I think with a little bit of added light, it'll just be fantastic. And I think I've probably almost inspired myself this week, which is always nice, um, you know, by last week's photograph that I got, at um, Trafor in North Wales which was just a wonderful adventure and yeah it's really inspired me to get back out to the coast um, with my camera and 
hopefully again do some sort of long exposure here because it's just made for it. We've got a low tide, it's revealing some of these beautiful rocks down here and uh, it's just a naturally beautiful scene. Now, Castle Rock, I mentioned before, this sort of um, largest cliff face here in the foreground. Quest first question I asked was, is it a real castle on the top? Probably none of you are asking that, but I'll answer it anyway because <laughs> perhaps there's one person out there. Um, as far as I know, please correct me if I'm wrong, any um, Devonians. I don't believe it was a real castle. I think it's just the geolo geology of the cliff face and geology of the rocks makes it appear like a castle, so I'm assuming that's how it got its name, but um, it still looks really, really cool nonetheless. But yeah, um, fantastic vantage point, beautiful scene, and uh, a lot like last week, we've just got to be patient and wait on the light, so I'm going to get myself set up, start thinking about my composition, and <clears throat> yeah, just apply a little bit of patience. set up and ah oh god i don't really know what to think about it at the minute so we're about 20 minutes past sunrise behind you guys now there is a huge bank of cloud and the rest of the sky pretty much is fairly clear and it's just i don't think we're gonna get any light at this stage and even if we do by the time the sun's come up and over them clouds i think it's going to be too harsh but i'm probably going to stick it out anyway um at the minute one thing that i do really like is We've got a beautiful stormy sky in the background there you can probably see behind Castle Rock. So I'm trying to grab a shot now. I've got my six stop ND filter on the front, which is giving me an exposure time of 30 seconds. Um, composition I'm really, really happy with actually. I've got the Castle Rock at the sort of top left hand side of my frame. And then everything sort of naturally leads around to the right hand side of the, the frame as well. So it's a beautiful balance. Then down here in the foreground, um, we didn't actually have it just before sunrise because the the sea was really, really smooth. There wasn't a lot of action going on at all. But when the sun comes up, generally what you get is, you know, the wind picks up a little bit, which means that we're getting a lot of these crashing waves here in the foreground, which is fantastic. And with the long exposure, that's um, adding a little bit of interest, capturing the movement in them waves, <coughs> um, which is, of course, acting for a beautiful leading line as well. Um, but yeah, apart from that, decent sky, and I'm probably gonna stick around and wait for the light just in case it comes. Um, but yeah, it's not ideal, but I think this is going to be a decent little shot. Um, I'll show you guys this one now, I really hope you like it, and then, yeah, like I say, I think it's going to be worth sticking out the light, see if anything comes. I think it'll be worth it. I hope you like this one. So it's been a bit of a funny one so far this morning because forecast was not what this is it wasn't what's happening here at all like it was saying pretty much 100 percent chance of light um it was just forecast a beautiful sunrise so this was sort of naturally going to be an awesome location to come to for that because like i mentioned we were going to get the light shining back on castle rock and on our scene but weird like this sort of low bank of clouds just moved in um, from inland and out to sea there looking over towards south wales it's just gray skies really really low cloud it's just strange but this is what happens with landscape photography and i don't know i suppose the best way to look at it is that you know if you had a nice light every time it'd just be rubbish wouldn't it you know for me it's all about chasing the light and that's half the excitement so what you're seeing here is just reality <laughs> but Nonetheless, I think that was a decent photograph. I think um, that sort of beautiful, it's still actually it's still there at the minute, that beautiful sort of gray, stormy sky, that sort of foreboding sky above Castle Rock really helped to add interest to the scene. And 
um, it's a real good contrast to the subject, that sort of thing. So I'm quite grateful for that rather than, you know, if we just had sort of flat overcast sky, um, that wouldn't have been ideal. But yeah, it's a stunning location, wonderful to be out here for sunrise. And I need to get back to my car because I think I've parked in a bit of a strange spot and I'm worried I'm going to get a ticket. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Bit of a short one this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the image. And yeah, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, really hope you guys will tune in next week because I will probably be giving you guys, is that the right term? There's going to be a big announcement. All right, there's going to be a big announcement uh, about me and my photography and where it's going to head. And yeah, I'm ready to divulge this information next week. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you guys next week on the next adventure. Out. Thank <laughs> you.